Hey everybody, welcome to the Weekend Extra. Pastor Joe here with Pastor Jeff. Just wrapped up one of our messages in the With or Without series. It's been Mm -hmm. great stuff so far. Tonight we dove into accusations and how that plays a part in our life and how we hear certain things, and that can either obviously affect us negatively uh, or positively. And one of the things you dove into specifically, Jeff, was this idea that it's not just positive thinking. It's not just self-help talk. It's not not just... I think for a lot of us, that's really hard to distinguish between that and uh, what you're talking about in terms of finding our identity in Christ and those kind of things. Can you walk us through kind of those distinctions a little bit? Yeah, I mean, the the cultural thing right now is to talk to yourself, right? Mm. So to think positively, uh, to speak words of affirmation over yourself, you know, it's the, the when I was in college, there was a Saturday Night Live skit, looking in the mirror, you know, you're wonderful, you're talented, um, you know, those kind of things. And so that that's kind of like where that all went. It's like the, the self-esteem, uh, believe in yourself mindset. Um, I You don't have to throw all that baby out with the bathwater, but if you're not careful with that, it becomes very self-serving, very self-centered, and very egocentric. Yeah. So it's it's uh, me wanting the best for myself, where Christ would say, "Die to yourself," right? right? And so it's a, it's a very very different philosophy. What we're talking about is not like good self talk. We're talking about Scripture mm-hmm. and what the Bible says. And uh, the the Bible says in Revelation that Satan is the accuser of the brethren. He is. Uh, in front of Christ, even now, saying, you know, Joe is still a sinner. Joe is still a liar. He's still a... And uh, the Bible says that the, for those of us who are in Christ, there is no condemnation. So Paul would say, that's what some of you were, but you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified by the Lord, of, by the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ and by the Holy Spirit. So it's believing that truth. And it depends It depends a little bit on kind of the tradition you were raised in. If you were even raised in the church... Yeah. Uh, but if you were raised in, in uh, a tradition like I was raised in, I was taught to receive conviction. By the way, that is good, right? So if the Bible says it, and the Bible says you're a sinner, you're a sinner. The Bible says you're, uh, you know, you're you're wicked, you're wicked. And so th- that's a that's a good thing. That's um, uh, in many ways our culture today struggles to receive conviction. But they would say, well, I'm not a bad person. I'm a good person. That's not true of me. I was taught to receive conviction. What I was not taught to receive is encouragement, to be to receive courage from God. Yeah. So if you said to me, you're a sinner, I'd be like, I know. If you said to me, you're a saint, I'd be like, no, I'm not. I'm just a sinner saved by grace, but I'm still kind of a sinner. Yeah. And yet the scripture would go on and say, well, that's what you were, but now you are washed, sanctified, you're a saint, you're a royal priesthood, you're a chosen nation, you're a child of God. And so we even talked about this this weekend, that I I need to believe what the Bible says about me being a sinner, but I also need to believe what the Bible says about me being a saint. And that is not self-esteem, it's truth. And that is not positive talk and encouragement, it's just truth. And if I don't believe that truth, then I will I will live as a as a sinner that's going to make it to heaven by the skin of my teeth, instead of a victorious life, an overcoming life that is aggressively attacking the gates of hell by the authority and the power given to the church by Christ Himself. Right. Right. And Satan will rob me in both of those things personally, but then he'll rob the church also. So it's actually a really important thing. You know, I'm a new creation. The old mm-hmm. is gone. And and um, we talked this weekend, I this is boasting in Christ, not in myself. It's not by work, so I cannot boast. I boast in Christ and what he does, and it's equally true in my life. Yeah, there's the old cliche that... Um it's not who you are, it's whose you are, yep. and that's where the confidence is, and that's right. why it's not self-esteem. It's not because I'm awesome, and finally God told me that. It's because I belong to the one that is awesome, and he's changing and doing something in me. Absolutely. It's not a, I don't have a self-righteousness. Right. I can't make myself righteous, but I, I am righteous because of Christ, and so it's, that's the it. It's living in that identity yeah. also, and remembering that, that those things apply to me, 
uh, personally and then apply to us corporately as a church as we seek to serve serve the Lord. Yeah. So as you continue in this path of kind of discovering uh, where God has you in all this, like maybe make the mental note that as you get into your quiet time, get into your scripture, look for those moments where God is kind of like showing yeah. you as a, as a follower of mine, as a child of mine, this is now who you are. It can really rock your understanding of how this works. This is your Weekend Extra. Thanks for dialing in, and we'll catch you next week.